What are you lot doing? Get out of here. Do your jobs, damn it. Hello everyone and welcome back to the wonderful and epic world of PC gaming. My name is Mikey B and we are continuing with Prison Architect Let's Play series. And yeah, let's get resuming. In a couple of seconds we're about to receive our first load of convicts. Eight convicts are going to show up and they're normal so we shouldn't have too many issues. We got five guards and everything is coming along nicely. Right now, I'm just preparing the shower block, and yeah, we need just shower heads in here then. Uh, wrong one. Objects, shower heads. Let's just fill it because I'm cheap as shit. So uh, even when we've got a super max size prison, I am gonna be using a tiny little shower room because I can't be asked building another one. <laughs> saving uh, money on plumbing and all that. Hell yeah. Shit warden for the win. Right. This isn't... the Obviously the water cables... Water pipes don't work the same as the uh, power cables do because they can't extend their power to the light bulb. See? Like how it grids off in wires? Obviously, water pipes can't do that, so I've got to spend a bit more money than usual on them. Actually, no. Electrical cables cost more. Wow, okay. Right. What else have we got to do? Build a yard, build a kitchen, build a canteen. Right, let's just get a staff room up here, because I want to keep my guards happy. Canteen, kitchen. Let's get... Oh, execution straight away. That's a bit brutal. Oh, we're about to get the first load. So we need a wide sofa and a drink machine. Okay. Wide sofa and a drinks machine. Bare minimum, but at least it works. Convicts are on the way. Oh, there's two guys in black. Why aren't they in their prison uniforms? Gary Chambers, 37. Thomas Eaglebeak, 39. Whoa. Sean Sexton. Aston. I can't keep still. Damn it, keep still. What are they going to do? Just throw the prisoners out. Wait a minute. Where are the guards? And why are these guys getting randomly dropped off? Like, all the way up there. Dude, that guy could run. Where are my guards? What are you lot doing? Get out of here. Do your jobs, damn it. I want them to go and collect. There we are. He's collecting them. Good. Bloody lazy guards. Right, we need two chefs and a kitchen. And a canteen, okay. Um, I think I'm going to make this like a, this next big area here into a whole canteen because the canteens are quite massive so yeah let's just get that on the road we've got 34k so we should be able to afford that let's go let's round it off at 5k if we can no Okay, let's not. Let's go 650. There we go. Right, it's planning for the future, I guess. Or preparing for the future. And let's get a double door. Damn it, I've done it again. Not rounded them off. Oh well, let's get three jail doors then. To just look better. Can't be doing with uneven shit. Shower block. Yay. It's all ready to go. Right, these guys are walking so slow, so we might just need to fix up a nice little pave, uh, yeah, paving stone. Or not, I don't know, should I? Uh, let's put paving down out here, actually. That would be better. 
Let's put it down there. Let's put it down here. Um, yeah, that's going to speed it up a bit, I think. Right, it's quite a massive thing, so it's going to take quite a while to build on that. Wait a minute, where are the rest of my engineers? Maintenance dudes. Have I lost the maintenance dudes? Am I blind? Right, let's just check staff. Eight workmen. All oh, right, they're all blending in in the trees. Look. All oh, right, I see. Okay, because it's on normal mode. Let's just speed this up a bit. Let's get this canteen popping, yo. <laughs> Let's get some of them, whatever prison food is, cooking. I have a feeling somebody's gonna get shanked in the shower. Let's just explore the uh, prisoners. Right, there's this lanky dude in the middle. What's this guy? Nighthawk Douglas or Guy Nighthawk Douglas. Well, a notorious peeping Tom Nighthawk had money, many run ins with the police. However, he ended up in jail after taking his perversion slightly too far. Whoa. Hiding in the closet, he was caught by a woman whilst having a good. Whoa. Of her undies. Wow. Sentenced to five years for multiple crimes, including kidnapping and kidnapping. Wow. This dude is pretty messed up. Is he going to cause trouble, do you think, in the future? Maybe. Hey, there's a guy called Mike. Avaton. Avaton. Victor Avaton Mike. I think that's Avaton. Yeah, Avaton. Avaton lad. Victor once downloaded a movie. He has been... <laughs> He's been in for six years already. He's complained and uh, he's complained a that I think that's a mistake. That his recent inmate served two years for killing his boring boss. But the, but judge is told that these crimes can't be compared that easy. All oh, right, so he's been yeah, it's dig on piracy, obviously. Sentenced to eight years for assault. Okay, so we slapped the shit out of someone. Sentenced to 11 years. Carjacking. Sentenced to 8 years for death by dangerous driving. Wow. That's the worst sort of criminal, that is. Criminal fucking scum. Software developer. Snapped and murdered multiple people after their repeated insi insist insistence. Is that... I don't know. I, I using two space tabs instead of sport four space tabs. Wow, I cannot read for shit today. I don't know what's up with me. Sent us for 24 years for arson, so he burnt down his office and killed multiple people in the process. Holy shit, that guy's hardcore. Warren Almond sentenced to four years for violent disorder. Violent disorder? Does that just mean he kicked off in a public place and broke shit? He looks like a hippie, so he could have been an activist. Yo, man. Let's go and flip some shit over, dude. I don't even think... Yeah, but he'd be mellowed out. You don't really... Yeah. Judging people. And this dude corrupts all shit. No doubt. Every time I play this, I want to carry on watching Orange is the New Black. It's a... A Netflix show if you're not familiar. It's pretty cool. It's like about prison and that shit. Right, so we've got these old buildings out here. Still trying to decide what I want to do with them. Probably they're going to be uh, workshop stuff or possibly a classroom or something because I want the yard to be like here, I'd say. Oh wait, no, these could be the beginnings of the cell block, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Or the visitor's centre. Yeah, let's do that. That can be the visitor's centre. Right. What's going on here now? We've got more deliveries coming in. Oh, shadow's off, mate.
Okie dokie. We've got five cops. Or five guards, I should say. 26k in the bank and 800 each turn. So, this kitchen and canteen combination is taking a while to build. It's a shitload of resources. And we've got a load of trees in the way and all that has to be moved. Come on, you can do this. Right, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I should probably separate the, the canteen stuff. Because if they're not, you'll end up getting cell blocks with knives and shit in them. So, yeah, let's just boost the capacitors of these. And then let's bring this on through to here. And then we'll work it out from there. Actually, no, let's just keep going. See where we go. We're going to need plumbing in the kitchen. I could probably leech off these showers if I put the kitchen like over here in this corner. So let's start walling off the kitchen. I want to have enough room and a spare room as well so that in the future I can have prisoners on kitchen duty. Alright, let's just pause it a sec. I've got to get a door on there. Where is the staff door? There it is. Alright, let's put the staff door here. Because it's like in the centre. Did I eyeball that in the centre properly? I think so. Let's go. Build, 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 build. Hell yeah. Right. So, Alcatraz the second is well on the way. Awesome. Right, it's going to be quite a cool, lengthy kitchen, so we're going to need a cooker, a fridge, and a sink. I'm going to double up on that stuff so that the cooks can... so that they don't get overwhelmed. Uh, that is quite a bit more cramped than I thought it would be. The sink... Let's get two sinks, as I said before. Uh, we want a cooker, two cookers, and two fridges. Okay. Cookers and two. Actually, we want more than f two, more than two fridges. I'd say four fridges, because they are a pain if the food isn't stored, because it goes off, turns into garbage. I think. Or in instead, if you don't have enough storage. The food overall will just not be used. Like they, they don't cook and then you can end up having hungry prisoners which leads to unhappiness. So let's get... Yeah, four fridges should do. I think I spent too much time talking then. <laughs> Come on guards, you've got to open the doors. I think putting three doors there looks better than, you know, having... Right, I think I should just lock one of these open. Lock open, there we go. Wow. They went full retard then. Gotta lock them all open then, apparently. What these do? These keep unlocking and locking this door. They're playing with the door. I think they might be retarded. Send them over here. Not wow, silly. Right. Let's just have a look around. We need to just fix up the utilities so it's all connected. All right, we got all that going on. Probably get away with it to there. Probably get away with this to here. I think that's going to be enough. And yeah, allocate all of this as canteen space, I think. Or even better, we could make this a visitor center. Hmm. Let's make this upper half then the canteen so it's closer to the kitchen. Right, rooms. Canteen. 
And let's pull this here. And then let's start putting down. We need serving tables, regular tables, and a bench. Yeah, okay. Right, where's the serving tables? There's a serving table, right. Okie dokie, so we need... I'll put two of these down, one on that side. One on that side, and then... Let's put a load of these tables down. One, two, three, four. And then let's put two benches on either side of them. Or one bench either side would have made more sense. And fast forward that shit. Right, I should probably leave these doors open here. Lock open. Because we've got enough guards, I think, to stop them from legging it. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I just... Yeah. That would have been a hugely terrible idea. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's going on here? Why aren't these... Oh, they have to be directly hardwired. Okay, shit. Wasted money there. Let's dismantle these and see if they... will reuse them. They should do. Yeah, they are. Good. Recycling, yeah. Never thought... Oh, shit. Power tripped. God damn it. Need more capacitors. She won't take it, Captain. She just won't allow it. Right, we just spent six grand or five grand on capacitors, so this should work. Oh, wait, I think we spent even more than that. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. Good. It was 5k on capacitors. Oh, shit. I just remembered you've got to do this individually now, so switch on. There we go. And we've got to trip these on again. There we are. Everything's up and running. Hunky dory. Wow, that's a lot of wood. That's what she said. Huh. What the shit is that noise? The haunting of the wrenches attacking the tables. God damn. Right, let's get the next set of research going. We need a maintenance uh, dude, so let's go staff. A foreman. And let's get him to research janitors. Cost two grand, six hours. Yeah, we've got plenty of money for that. Bureaucracy cleaning. There we go. And the warden can research... Security. Right, I wonder what's going on. Do you hear that? There's like spanners going off. What shit? Oh wait, two guys aren't. Wait, three people haven't got beds. Wait, four people haven't got beds. All right, I better. I should get them bed then. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just keep that like that. Should be enough beds for temporary. It's annoying me that I put those beds sideways when everything else is lengthways. Right, we need to hire two chefs and build a yard. Awesome. Right, staff. Okay, I hope that wrench noise stops. Please stop. Right, cook. One, two. Alright, just build a yard and we will get the full grant. So, I'm going to make here the yard actually then. Yeah, I think that would be alright. It's it, Yeah, it's level as well, so that's good. Uh, I think we're going to need a regular old fence. Put gravel out here then. 
just so it's slow and they can't get away if they almost if they break free or whatever. Perimeter wall. That's expensive shit. There we are, fence. Let's go across there. Go across there. I'm gonna double up actually put a fence there as well. Okay, that seems to be under control, so let's put a door out. I don't think we need a special door for the yard, do we? Yeah, I should just put a regular door there out to the yard. This should be quite good. I wonder if I should get lights out here as well, that would be ideal. Ensure you can see your prisoners at all times of the day. Yes. Whoa, there's trees out here, so yeah, that might be an issue if I can't see them. Oh well, we'll see, it might make it interesting. I've only had a couple of escapes, but yeah. Once this is done, I think I'm going to restart the game to get rid of this noise that's going on. The sound of the ghostly mechanic people. Maintenance people. Yep, still at it. They're fixing that shit all day long. Right, so now let's allocate this as the yard. Good. God, this place is a shit hole. I'm gonna make this the janitor's closet and so we can clean this crap up. Look at the place. It's disgusting. Wait a minute. I just did the opposite of what I just said. God damn it, I just spotted it now. I've made this into the staff room when I wanted to make it into an office. I think it should be an easy switch though, isn't it? Uh, office clocks. Yay. Right, let's just dismantle this. Let's dismantle this. And let's get an office chair. And let's get a filing cabinet. And let's get a computer desk. Or an office desk, even. And then we'll allocate this um, office to the... What is he called now? He's called the... Chief. Of, yeah, the guard. The chief guard. Whatever. Yeah. Unlocks the chief of security. There we are. Yeah, that'll be his place then. And then I'll make this into the staff room. Rooms... Uh, what so the green rooms are the utilities and so which one where's how could there we are I couldn't see it god damn I'm blind okie dokie now I can put those objects down that I've already got so let's put a seat down here and let's put a drink machine here Right, let's just stick that into fast forward so that staff room is up and I'll hire the dude and we'll call it an end to this episode. Minimum size of 4x4. Four four. Oh, so that's not a big enough room so it failed anyway. Okay. Flawless logic. Alright, let's extend the entire building then. Right, let's do this. Fast forward. Go, go, go. Shift it. Yo. Oh, okay. So, it didn't... It normally takes out this wall, so... I guess that's not an option here. Let's demolish the inside wall. And then let's extend the room to be to there
Right, that should combine. Let's fast forward that she... Right, there we go. Right, let's fast forward that, clean this up, and then I'll call it an end to this episode. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the prison architect stuff that I've started doing. So, yeah, I'm having fun with this, and I hope you're enjoying the series. It's nothing like over the blown, like exciting, you know, like flip over backwards and all that shit, but I hope you're enjoying it nonetheless. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. I appreciate all the support and subscribing and the likes and all that. And comments in particular. I love responding to you guys. Particularly if you followed me on Twitter. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers on Twitter. And if you got this far, it'd be so appreciated if you could follow me there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.